Well, hello there, human species earthlings, wherever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and I hope you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. I'm Bushka, welcome to the channel. Today's video is really important. It is a massive thing for me in terms of what I believe to be the key defining factor and the mistake that PUBG players make the most. It's the thing I do the most when I'm losing, and it's the thing that really affects the outcome when I'm winning and having a good game. Uh, and it's also the biggest reason you're going to survive in third person on a map like Sanok or Erangel, where people are basically third person peeking in the grass. And that's taking engagements where you don't have cover or a viable line of retreat. And you have to win the gunfight or you lose the game. And that's quite literally it. And I'm not talking about engagements like this where the last one where you saw the guy was doing the right thing. He was stealthily crouched trying to stay in the undergrowth and just got screwed by the circle pushing him past me. Or this guy who's just trying to rescue his friend because he doesn't have any other options. I'm talking about engagements like this. And I intentionally put this one in because this is me trying to be a smart ass and shooting there to draw someone out. And lo and behold... Enter stage left, someone goes waltzing across the screen in a strafe, looking for the bot that is single firing. There it is. And I'm like, oh, okay, that is terrible. What are you doing that for? But then I compound that by doing exactly the same thing. Now, both of us are pretty much in an engagement where if we don't win that gunfight, we die. Okay? Now, that's a horrible way to play. It was bad play by my opponent. It was bad play by me. I could have done that whole thing while still in the safety and cover of my friend the building and the doorway but I didn't I pushed out into an open field and I made it a situation where I was far too aggressive and that's what happens all the time the reason I'm showing you this clip is because we naturally do this when we are playing in urban environments when we're in corridor fights when we're in places like Pachinki and military base and Georgia pole crates and Yasna Polyana, this is what we do. Look, I'm, I'm using the walls for cover so that I can get that first shot from surprise. And then if I get in trouble, I can pull back and, and maybe get a heal off. Where this becomes really evident, and you've got to start putting this into your play style, is maps like Sanok and Erangel when you're playing third person. And this is specifically why I made this video. I've been asked so many times, how do you win third person on Sanok without lying down in the grass and snaking. There's two things. One is you've got to control the zone. You can see I'm working the back end of the zone. I dropped solo versus squad in boot camp uh, and I came out of boot camp and then I've just been loitering at the back of this zone until it caught up with me so that I could then move in comfortably and with a little bit of safety. The other thing that you'll see me do is I'm expecting that if I'm going to get hit by someone who is third person snaking, they are going to win the surprise of the engagement. But one of the things that generally happens when people are third person snaking is they just crawl along the ground in the middle of an open field. So I'm trying to keep rocks and such next to me at all times. I'm trying to move from strong cover to strong cover. So you're going to see a guy in a second pop from the grass and I'm immediately able to pull back behind this rock and... Actually, after I get that headshot, he'll pop on the left here. There he's crawling in the grass. He's going to stand up. And I'm behind cover. And then I'm going to strafe out. Now, look where he is. He's in a wide open field. He has no choices. If he does not win that gunfight, he dies. I can move back behind the rock. I then get the decision whether I continue the engagement. I take it. I try and smoke up. I try and use a med kit because I am playing this positionally in a hyper-aware fashion of exactly where my hard cover is. The other thing I'm doing, if you look at the zone line, and I've done this ad nauseum, and I'm not going to do it again, I'm not going to belabor the point, but I'm surfing in the blue line. I'm pushing in with that blue line. So even now, it is clearing the area behind me when it moves forward, and that will allow me to focus on my left, my right, and directionally straight ahead. Uh, or in this case, it's pretty much to the, the northeast. Why is that important? Because those two things go hand in hand. But the real key here is the engagement. What you take, when you take it, and why you take it. When I die, it is invariably because I'm being an overly aggressive YOLOing bastard. Now, there is no way around that. It's not smart play on my part. It's one of the things that I do to get content for the channel because no one really wants to watch 30 minutes of me doing this in an open field. What they want to watch 
is games where I've got kills, I've got damage, and I can show them how to do that. Because they're the fun parts, and that's the reason we play the game. And that's why I dropped Boot Camp here. But eight kills in Boot Camp, we've done a lot better than that before. It's not gonna make a video. And I really needed to do a video where I showcased how you can do this. So here we go. I'm gonna push into a very, very small zone. There are 14 other people left alive. I know there's no one left behind me. And what I'm gonna do the whole way through is I'm gonna work some magic with my positional play. People are gonna try and take me as an engagement, but they keep doing it from open fields. If you are lying in the grass in Sanok and someone is moving forward and you take them, uh, take the engagement with them and they're in cover and you're not, third person peeking, they can see you and they can then clear you very, very easily at their whim. Now I'm moving from strong cover to strong cover and I'm not going to screw this up. I'm actually really, really keen to get the win here. I'd had a bit of a rough day. I'd been trying to get a big win. I'd lost a 2,900 damage game on the last guy throwing a grin. I was really filthy and I was determined not to get wrecked here. So you can see I'm on the edge of the circle again and I'm really, really cognizant. There's someone, someone's, someone's throwing a molly at me. Like, hello. I, there is no clear indication that there is someone in this general vicinity. There you go. Again, he's he's in the... I can see him peeking there. He's in the middle of nowhere. He's taken an engagement where there is absolutely no cover. Both him and his mate are now screwed. That's two knocks, one kill, one knock. Like, this is the biggest reason that people lose in PUBG Mobile. It comes from over-aggressive play. Maybe just missing your aim. Uh, and take your time. Like, I'm now behind a rock. That guy's behind a tree. He's doing the right thing. Unfortunately for him, um, I mean, we're able to switch up here, hit him hard with the M24, and then knock him with the, uh, the QBZ. There's his mate. We're up to 13 kills. We just knocked and cleared four people. Now, I'm in a bit of trouble here because there's no good decisions left to make. Well, there's still one bit of cover. There's a rock with about an inch of space behind it right here. And that's the next position I move to. Now, everyone else is, there are so many people crawling around here in the grass. There are still so many people. You can see there's a guy right there to my Northeast 30. I can see him. I'm getting to decide the terms of the engagement again. I don't think I can make a clearer video on this than this game right here because I realized looking back at this that so many, and I really had never even thought about this to any great degree I just naturally did it when I was playing well I think this is something that you pay close attention to and then when you've got no good decisions left to make you move to the next best thing I've got some cover here I've got a tree I'm not even worried about getting that kill right now. Someone else has cleared him for me. I'm pushing down. Three guys left to clear. And I think we've made the point that the biggest mistake that people make, I'm like, that guy's just fired at me, okay? We do this all the time. I now know, like, he fires at me as I'm running in the building. And it's like, hello, I know where you are. You have no cover. You're in a corner of a building. There is absolutely nowhere for you to run to. If you do not win this gunfight, you are out of the game. And you've made it all the way to the top five. And that's as far as you're going to get. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys take notice of it. And I hope next time you're playing Erangel or Sanok and you're in a third-person game, you run that hard cover. You work hard cover to hard cover. You don't take engagements in the middle of the map. If you're near a rock and you start getting hit, get behind the damn rock and then figure it out from there. As long as you're alive, you're in the game. As long as you're alive, you've got a chance of winning. I'm going to actually show you this last little bit, and it's so... So, absolutely everything we've been talking about. Um, the last guy left alive is on my left. Uh, I'm just throwing fake grins and smoke for no good reason. I know he's over there. Watch the position that he's in. He has to bail out a window. I keep my eye for cover the entire time. Even though I nearly screw this up with this grin. Even though he knows exactly where I am. And I pull the grin out and that's when he makes his move. And I poke. There's my cover. I'm going to slow that down so you can see that again. This is just such... 
a huge thing. If you're in the middle, he might hit me. I take the hits. But then I get to reset and I get to do things the right way and we come out on top. I'm Bushgrow. I hope that was helpful for you guys. I hope you can put that into your gameplay. I mean, it's not rocket science, but it's something that we lose sight of all the time. We have to make sure that we keep that engagement on our terms. Until next time, look after yourselves and stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.